Hi, Sarah Stahl speaking here from Gridbusters. So we finally managed to find some oak beams for the, uh, for the doorway here. Uh, or rather our gardener, Bruno, has managed to track some down. So the first thing we're gonna be doing today is getting the door frame in so we can get a door uh, put on the plant room and the stairwell. I think that's really important, just in case it rains. <laughs> and then the second thing we're gonna be doing today is starting to mount the Victron equipment to the wall in the plant room. This is when it gets interesting. Now, yesterday, one of the things I also did, which I did off camera, was uh, create this backboard here for the equipment. So you can see here, this board here is actually upside down at the moment. It will kind of make more sense when we mount it to the wall, but I didn't want to just um, mount all of the equipment straight to uh, the plasterboard wall because I wanted some way to control the cabling and the Victron equipment, a lot of the cabling, it says, do not put it in ducting uh, because uh, it can get quite warm. And I didn't want it to look uh, kind of messy. So what I've decided to do is mount this uh, blackboard on the wall, um, kind of, you know, a, a couple of inches from the wall and put some battens behind the black wall, back blackboard so that it's sitting, um, sitting away from the wall and then there's like a void behind the board. And you'll see these um, cutout slots and the cutout slots go directly beneath all of the equipment. So you've got, for, as an example, the inverter will, will be in one place and the cables will come out of the inverter, go into the hole, go behind the board and then come out, for instance, where the bus bars are. And that will just keep everything really tidy and neat and uh, it won't look <laughs> all jumbled and messy and a really good way to control my cables. So I prepared that board yesterday, it's just a piece of MDF. I cut the holes out using a jigsaw, ran the router around the edge to keep it all smooth, painted it with matte black paint. And uh, one of the things I want to do today is get that board mounted uh, very, very securely to the wall. Um, and then we can start mounting all of the equipment to the board. So that's what's on the cards today. So, should we just lift it on the Get it on there. And then we'll, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to move this over a little bit. There we go. Can we lift it? No, I don't know if we can lift it from that. I don't know. I think. I don't know. I just did. Leave Lou out of the way. Oh, my God. Let's get this a bit closer. Okay, all right, just, so, just, 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 just right, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, we're done. We're done. <laughs> just, uh, just that bit in it where you change a bit too much. Do you think so we should have another I level? I think we have to go up in levels. Should we get another plank? We don't have another one these, huh? Just get, uh, just get the big young man's board. Do it properly. Oh, what the, uh, yeah. yeah, okay, well, let's put this back down on the ground. Yeah. Right. We move this over here. And then we can put oh. this here. Onto this board, and then we'll lift it onto that. We get all these comments saying, Should you ever lift it from the hand? <laughs> <laughs> right, do you want to stand on the beam while you're right from there? Uh, you should actually. You're right from us? Yeah. I mustn't bend my back. My back if you want. Alright. Okay. Easier, isn't it? Oh, 
Okay, so I'm assuming. Let's see, at least we know if it just swaps between these, we can. Okay, All right, so we've got to line it up on the bottom and the top as well. Right. Okay. So just a few square ones up a bit. And I think we're there. And you can screw the whole line up on that side? Yep. Yeah. So I can put the bolts in there. Right, let's get the bolts in. Oh. Shame it sits a bit higher than the board, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be fine. <laughs> we're not changing it now. Yeah, I designed it like that. Yeah, no, fair enough. <laughs> inverter screwed to the wall wow that was hard uh, seriously heavy uh, but very securely um, put in and um, we also have space here for a second inverter if we ever need it hopefully we won't need it but I just wanted to make the system expandable uh, I mean who knows maybe in the you know 10 years down the road we might have three electric cars um, I know Dave's getting an electric car probably next year, so then we'll have two. And I am thinking about converting a classic car to be electric as well, um, in which case we would have three electric cars and that would be pulling a lot of power. So maybe at that point we would want a second inverter. So anyway, I wanted to have the system expandable. Um, and uh, yeah, here it is. So the next job is I'm gonna um, screw the uh, solar charge controller to the board. Wow, what a super productive day. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so got the Victron uh, Quattro finally mounted uh, to the board. Wow, that thing is heavy. Uh, right on the limit of what I could lift, actually. Uh, but with the help of uh, the builder, um, finally managed to get it mounted up on the bracket. And um, I installed uh, the, well, I haven't installed, I just screwed the rest of the equipment to the board. Uh, I will be making some more detailed videos once I start wiring this up, um, which is going to be happening pretty soon. Now, the other great things that happened today was the floor. So literally, just as I was packing up, we had an Amazon delivery. Um, I was actually uh, just making a coffee in the kitchen in the house, thinking that's the end of the work for the day. And I saw this uh, delivery van backing up towards the house. And when the delivery vans are backing up all the way down the driveway towards the house, you know it's something big that's arriving. And sure enough, it was the flooring for the plant room and also the stairwell room there. Um, and that arrived. So uh, I decided to put my coffee down and install the flooring straight away. So I've installed it just in this one room, not in the stairwell, because we're still doing some work on the door out there. And uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with it. It's a black rubber floor. Um, it's not like the workshop floor, which is really, really squishy. That's got foam in. This is a very kind of, you know, this is a thick rubber matting, uh, which is important because the batteries are really, really heavy and they have little trolleys with wheels. So I didn't want the you know, floor to get damaged. So this is a very hard wearing uh, rubber floor, which is excellent. Smells nice too. <laughs> so yeah, I've laid that down. Obviously, we've got everything put on uh, the board here, uh, still to be wired up. But the other thing that happened was Jude, the builder, he's done an excellent job in, in installing the uh, door frame. So here it is here. I'll do a cutaway of the door frame. So this is the solid oak that our gardener Bruno sourced for us. Um, I've still got some uh, cut out some uh, plugs to put in the screw holes there. Uh, and uh, the other thing that Jude did yesterday was uh, he built the door. So we, we've uh, got a uh, kind of um, barn door style uh, create, created, a, a, a door, which is really just a temporary door until we can track down some tongue and groove oak to make an oak door. Uh, maybe it will never get done, I don't know, but the, uh, the, this pine door should do us for now. What I'll do is I'll whack a few coats of creosote on this pine door um, and then uh, tomorrow what we're planning to do is to hang uh, the hang the door 
uh, get all the hinges on it, get the lock on it, and tomorrow the other thing I want to do is to lay the floor in the stairwell. So uh, yeah, really productive day. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, that would really help me out with these videos. And um, I'll catch you next time.